Hey y'all, Sean, Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube. Got another hot new for you, episode 129. This time I got another new one. It's the Ballistic Guillotine. Not a wheel that I've hung out with before, but we'll go through it and kind of show you what we got here. So this one particularly is gonna be a 22 by 12 wide, negative 44 offset. That's gonna be the largest size that this one comes in. And then they also do a 20 by 12, a 20 by 10, a 20 by nine, an 18 by nine, and a, down to a 17 by nine. And they've got the by nines in a couple different offsets. So you can run them from stock setups all the way to the 22 by 12, which is typically gonna require a lift kit to get it to fit, unless if you're super creative like we are, and you just smash it in there and bend and grab and move stuff so that it can work. Lip size on the 12 by negative 44 is gonna be a whopping six and a half inches to that center and pretty much in front of the spokes. So they went after the lip for sure. Typically anything over six inches on a 12 wide is a big lip wheel. At six and a half, that's pretty decent that they did a good job there. You're gonna see that it's got a directional pattern to it. Now this is a cast wheel. So realize that on one side of your truck, they're gonna run this way let's call it the driver's side. Now on the passenger side, they'll be flipped. So on one side, they're gonna dig and the other side, they're gonna scoop. So just so that you know that that's typical of all the cast wheels, if they do a directional pattern, all four are the same. So they, they run different on each side than when you rotate, obviously, vice versa. You'll see this one, they came back with the rivets all the way around. And then they've got the ballistic milled into the face of it. Looks pretty cool. And then you're gonna have the solid cap, no spike lug nuts on this one. I'm sure it's dual drilled. Well, this one doesn't happen because it's eight lug, but I'd imagine the six lug, five lug are gonna be dual drilled. And then the eight lug, it looks like they're doing single drilled, but it is a covered cap. They're gonna be a gloss black. This is the only finish on the guillotine. And then you're gonna see inside each one of the windows, they've done milling all the way around. They didn't continue it on the inside, it's just running on the spoke. So it keeps it pretty clean. The interesting part that I saw about these spokes, and this is how they got that bigger lip, they're flat and then they dive back right at the end. So they've got a dip back just at the end. So it doesn't give you that weird bubbly look that some wheels do, it gives you that flat look, but they dive them back at the end and that's what gives you that bigger lip. And that's clearly what they were going after with this design. So as far as finishes like i said just this one and then the sizes uh rattled off for you oh price point this one's going to be a little more on uh, than your you know lower cost ballistic but they're still super competitive i think it was around 12 or 1300 for a set of four of the uh, 22 by 12 different prices for you there but it's going to sit towards the um or the price range it's going to still sit towards the low to moderate size of pricing so that's going to be your ballistic guillotine on episode 129 peace